Hi right, guys, sorry about the crappy video, but uh, I was going to give you a little run through on the um, farming uh, new Londo. Down here we're farming for uh, tight neck chunks and um, possibly a slab. Um, also get a fair amount of souls per run. So. This video is a little crappy, but um, just wanted to give you guys a little run through. You can see I have a huge katana equipped along with the grass crush shield. It's purely for endurance and get quick kills. Um, I also have the gold serpent, gold covetous ring. Um, as well as well as a ring of favor. I just haven't taken it off. Some people kind of show this walkthrough with just kind of passing up the ghosts. I, since I'm still doing upgrades, I want to actually kill them. Plus they also drop, um, some pretty good, uh, fans and souls. So you never really run out, you can keep fighting them when you come down. So right here there's a little ledge. You just want to pop off. I choose to take the right side first and just kind of do like a sweep all along. Um, this kind of seems like the fastest way. There's a hidden wall here in case you didn't know. Sometimes you can kill this guy with arrows. Yeah, might be better just to let him come out, but I got his drop, so. There's actually a couple ghosts and um, two of the wraiths in here, so you just kind of want to drag them out one by one. Sometimes they kind of get stuck up there, but this time they come down. I just want to drag them past the stairs because um, the ghosts won't come past the stairs. I typically just go in here and fight the second one. I used to drag them out too, but um, I don't know. If you can get behind them, they can't really, uh, uh, sometimes the ghost can be a little frustrating. That's what our lovely essence flask is for. That's why I just go ahead and, uh, kill the ones up top too and just use a transient curse because you tend to have to use it down here anyways for this run. But there's, in all this direction, there's about five wraiths. Um, there's also one down this ledge. You can see he just dropped another tight knight chunk. There's one down this ledge over here. Usually you can get behind them pretty easy, especially if you have fast or, um, or lighter equipment. It's not very hard to get behind them. I just go around this little wall here. And this used to be a um, fog wall, but it opens up once you complete this area. You want to drag these guys out unless you have um, a long-reaching stab weapon like Claymore 
or his white hand dirt. Sometimes you kind of have to bait them to actually drop their guard. Just either lower your guard or um, just kind of back away. There's two more out here, so I think that's about 10 or 11 in all. I'm going to go ahead and use an Irestus flask just in case. That area down there, it's sometimes if you if they notice you too early, it would be a little hard to get behind them. Um, just kind of kind of close close spaces, tight spaces. So sometimes you may want to drag them up there, especially if you're kind of wearing a lot of armor. And this is the last one that you would actually fight. So. Just go ahead and use your homeware bone here, and that's it. Thanks, guys.